Hi, this is April. I um, am a writer for Love, Lust, or Bust about romantic destinations in the world. And Morocco is hands down like one of my favorite, favorite romantic places to go. Uh, the Sahara. You can lie underneath a million stars in the sky and uh, sit by the fire, listen to Berber musicians singing and dancing and drumming. Um, you can stroll hand in hand through the markets and souks in the medinas of Fez and Marrakesh. And if you love history and culture and shopping um, and antiques, oh, it has everything. Um, readers of Love, Luster, Bust who prefer relaxing like on a beach, um, a beachy vacation, will be thrilled. You can go to the amazing resorts in Agadir. And then there's Essaouira and Tarazout and, oh, so many places by the ocean where you can go surfing and swimming and just lying on the beach soaking up the sun as horses and camels play in the water nearby. Um, uh, love Luster Bust readers who like adventure uh, would love Morocco because there's, of course, there's the camping and hiking and trekking, hot air balloon rides and the quad bikes and sledding on sand dunes. There's just so much to do. Really, a lot of fun in Morocco. Um, uh, for me, at Love Luster Bust, I write about, uh, I look for the most romantic destinations in the world for weddings, for honeymoons, and hands down, I think Morocco has it all. If you're looking for a place to stay in Morocco, of course, Villa Diaf Johanna is one of the best places for me, I think, in the area of Marrakesh, because you have the best of both worlds. I love the excitement of the city, where you can go to, like, fancy restaurants, and you can go shopping in the Medina, and get lost for hours in, you know, um, Jumafna, where they have the night market, um, with all the food vendors. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And, um, but Villa Johanna is so close, and yet, you get uh, to be in a, a really luxurious, romantic place with a garden and surrounded by nature and the mountains and um, just watching the sunrise and the sunset each morning there was, uh, was really, really beautiful. I can't wait to go back again. And you should definitely visit Morocco. It's April from the Luster Bust, and it's a little dark in here, but I'm in the Medina, just off of Jamafna Square, and this is in Marrakesh, and I'm on my way to my eye doctor and to get some photos on the way back. <laughs> Shukran. And so you can see that things are opening up. You can buy fruits and vegetables and meats, and it's like a little, tiny little market, like we'd call it a bodega in New York. <laughs> so the world is opening I'm not sure when flights will resume um, but people are saying either June or July quite a few of the restaurants are opening now just for takeout And supposedly, uh, the lockdown will end on June 10th. And it looks pretty good. Pharmacies and supermarkets have been open this whole time. This is where I go to a hammam. My feet of, I'm not sure which animal it was. I love that street. I stayed at a hotel down there before. <laughs> So usually, it's very difficult to walk in this place. There's like a restaurant with all tables and chairs that are out here and people along this street here selling things. 
and there are lots of really pretty rooftop restaurants and cafes. Anyway, Marrakesh is beginning to open. This is April from Love Lester Bus. Check out my articles on why you should come to Morocco after the world is opening up again and it's safe to travel.